Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is how you can build super fans. But before we get into all of that, I want to talk about how exactly you can identify your most engaged fans and how you can go about turning those people into your super fans so that you can start to capitalize off of all of the benefits that comes with having a large group or a core group of really active, really engaging fan base. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So what exactly is a super fan? Your super fans are pretty much the most engaged people within your fan base. They're the ones who are going to buy multiple tickets to every show. They're going to buy six t-shirts when your merch finally drops. They're the ones who are commenting and reposting every drop on SoundCloud and pretty much checking out each of your content drops as soon as you're putting them out. Basically, super fans are pretty much the cornerstone of any successful artist's business model, but before you guys go into figuring out who your super fans are, I need you all to understand a concept that is known as the Pareto Principle. The Pareto Principle, which is also known as the 80-20 rule, was created by this Italian economist named Vilfredo Pareto, I hope I'm saying that right, in the early 1900s. Pareto pretty much came up with this principle when he noticed that at the time, about 80% of Italy's land was owned by roughly 20% of the total population. It was soon found that the theory could be applied to a bunch of different disciplines or jobs or whatever it may be. For instance, it was applied to entertainment, sports, and even business. In the marketing world, the Pareto Principle pretty much comes out to say that 80% of your total profit for your company will come from about 20% of your total customers. So recently, I took some time out to really look into it and see if this was true, and I looked at the ticket sales for one of my last events. Now, after doing some research and crunching some numbers, it came out to be that 72% of our ticket sales came from about 18% of our total acts within the show. Now, this isn't exactly 80-20, but that's not what the rule is about. The rule is pretty much saying that a majority of your profits will come from a minority of the people who are contributing to their overall profit. So for artists, for you guys, this really can apply to a bunch of different parts of your artistry and your career. Let's say, for example, that 80% or the majority of your ticket sales for a show will probably come from 20% or the minority of your fans within a specific area. Or, for example, about 80% or, once again, the majority of your streams on, let's say, SoundCloud, are probably coming from the minority of the people who actually follow you or listen to you within that platform. What you want to do is to take all of this data, figure out who is this minority, who is this small group of people that's providing me with the most listens, the most engagement, the most streams, the most whatever it is on whatever platform that you're looking at, and then take those people and start to cater to them. That's how you turn those people into super fans. So how exactly do you go about catering to someone so that you can turn them from a highly engaged fan into a super fan? And it pretty much comes down to doing one of these two things. You either have to give them something for free or give them some type of special or preferred treatment. So let's take Instagram for example. Let's say that you have 100 fans who follow you on Instagram and you notice that most of your engagement is coming from the same 15 to 20 followers on the platform. That means that they're always the ones who like your picture or they're always commenting or you see the same group of people responding to your story, sharing your content, all that stuff. What you may want to do is DM one of those fans and say, hey, I noticed that you're always showing me love, you're always liking my pictures, you're always leaving me comments, you're always sharing my content. What's your address, I want to send you a merch package. I want to send you stickers and a t-shirt. Well, let's say that you notice that the same couple of people are always coming out to your local shows. You may want to go up to them, approach them and say, hey, I always notice that you're at these shows. I want to personally invite you out to my next show. Here's a couple of free tickets. Make sure that you come through. These people will start to feel special. They will feel empowered by following you on these platforms and they will feel like they're being respected for actually showing you support. And that's how you go about turning these fans into personal supporters, people who feel like they have a connection with you and they actually want to support you in the long run. So I guess if I had to, to like really condense this information, what I'm pretty much trying to say is in order to build a super fan, you need to first identify your most engaged fans on these platforms and then cater to them in such a way that they start to feel a personal connection with you. Doing so is how you build out these super fans who will support you months and months and years out into your career. And that's what you need to build a solid foundation of a career on top of. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.